Ladies and gentlemen, my dear viewers, I know at one point in our life, we must have felt so much important and very proud. And I also know that there are some points in our lives that we have felt like giving up in whatever we do. Maybe you started a certain venture and you see like it's not doing what you expected. Maybe you are an entrepreneur and you are in a business which, according to your assessment, is not giving you the required or the expected results. Maybe you are a sports person, a woman or a sportsman, and what you are doing right now is not as per your expectations. And previously, you are feeling very, very proud of yourself. But wait a minute. What if you achieve the, your desired, desired results and nobody is cheering you up? What if you keep on winning and winning and winning and nobody is cheering you up? Nobody sees what you are doing. Can it make you feel like quitting? Can it make you like now I'm doing all this and people are not seeing this? Maybe I should quit in whatever I'm doing? Welcome and thank you so much for tuning in to your most favorite online TV channel, Public Desire Media TV. I'm your host, Julius, a proud African from Kenya, and this is my channel, Public Desire Media TV. First thing first, always I like inviting those people who are watching my channel for the very first time. If you know that you're watching my channel for the very first time, please feel at home, feel welcome. This is the channel that you need to be watching each and every time that you want to be inspired to achieve more. Remember, I had said in my earlier videos, that in this channel, you'll be getting top trending stories. And also, in this same channel, you'll be getting historical site visits and random street interviews on matters of human interest. And this channel is also geared towards making people realize their dreams or maybe do more in whatever they are doing. For those who are already subscribers on this channel, thank you so much for being part and parcel of the growing public desire family. Remember, I'm only 200 plus subscribers and gearing towards 1,000 subscribers to reach the uh, YouTube benchmark. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to like this video, share it as many times as you can. Now I've introduced myself. I want you to know in the comment section why giving up gives birth to regret. Remember, there's this one particular person known as Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is a great NBA basketball legend and he said in one of his quotes that he had missed 3,000 shots or over 9,000 shots he lost a lot of games in his entire foot basketball career and he never gave up because he knew giving up was going to give birth to regrets I know wherever you are maybe you are on the verge of giving up on whatever you are doing you are just about to throw the towel that this is not my thing I'm not here to inspire you. I'm not here to tell you that leave it, do something else. I'm here to tell you that when you are just about to give up, you are just about to win. I want you to give yourself this kind of perspective. Later this year, there will be what we call FIFA World Cup in Qatar. As we are speaking right now, Various countries have spent, have spent a lot of money sending their coaches all over the world trying to see how they can make a formidable team to win the World Cup. World Cup is a big football bonanza which is organized by the world governing body, FIFA. Remember, everybody is trying to prepare a formidable team to win the trophy. And it is only one trophy, the World Cup. The lion also hunts in the, in, the, in the jungle. The same, same animal which the lion hunts, other animals are also hunting for the same. Now, what will make you win this particular trophy? What is it that is going to make you hunt and come out successful? Now, number one, I want you to realize that it is only you and you alone who can make things happen. If you keep on listening to people who are going to give you negative advice, my dear viewer, my dear friend, you are going to remain where you are. Some of these people are very good at demoralizing people. 
some of these people, when they are just about to see you succeeding in whatever they are doing, they are going to tell you that this, look, it's going to take you this many, many years to succeed this. You'd rather do this. And as you keep on trying new things each and every day, every day, I know you will be spending your time. I know you will be spending all what, what I said earlier, money. It is not bad to try new things, but look at the consistency part of it. People will be calling you, so and so, are you doing this? You will tell them, no, I left that, now I'm doing this. In the verge of time, they'll call you again, so and so, are you doing this? You will tell them, no, I left, I'm doing this other thing. My friend, my viewer, you'll be losing consistency, you'll be losing customers. Each time they contact you, they'll find that you left that particular thing and now you are doing something new. When they are looking for you for that something new you are doing, they realize that you left that and now you are doing something else. When they are looking for you for that something else you are doing, they realize that you left it and you are doing something else. Now tell me, in 10 years time, will you have even one customer whom you trust? Will you even have one person whom you can call when you are financially stressed to bail you out? Your answer is as good as mine. I want you to realize one thing, my dear viewer. When people are going for a football extravaganza, the football match, you know I like using football because I am a former footballer. People run for that one ball in the field. Remember there are almost 11 players this side, 11 players this side. And the goalkeeper has been placed between the posts. He knows very well that despite these, things, these people, what they are doing inside the field, all of them, they want to score here. All of them want to score here. So the goalkeeper will try to be very, very smart. He knows that these kind of play tactics the people are using, they all want to find a way how to defeat me between the posts. Now, my viewer, everything that happens in life, everything, the ups and downs that happen in life, I want you to realize that they are all designed to defeat you. Everything that happens is designed to defeat you. But if you can have a closer look at what is happening, you realize that it is not defeat. It is designed to make you succeed. And now, I want you to ask yourself, what measures success? How do we measure success? What if you win a certain trophy more than three or four times or five times and you realize that there's nobody to cheer you up? I want you to tell you the reason why people will not cheer you up. Once you win more than the ten times, these people will not cheer you up because they'll say there's no formidable opponent. It's like you are running around alone. And whoever runs around must win the race. Now, my viewers, now my valuable people, I want you also to realize one thing in life, that it is not about how far you have run. It is about how many people you have helped to achieve their dreams. It is about how many people you have given them a hand. You have given them a hand to come from where they are to come where you are. I don't dispute the fact that success is measured by how many things you have achieved. I don't dispute that. But in my own opinion, in my own perspective, I know that success can be only be measured by the number of people you have helped. Take a good example of you farmers, those people who are in farming, those people who are doing wheat farming. I'm here with you today. You have a good pay attention. Maybe it's a big 10 or 20 or 50 acres. You are doing wheat farming. And your wheat is doing so well. And the other neighbors also have some acres of wheat. They are doing their farming. And the disease, disease attacks their farms. A certain disease comes up and attacks their farm. After withering all the, all the farm, after destroying all the farm, what will happen next? The disease will come into your farm. Despite the fact that you do not want to bother with the neighbor's activities, despite the fact that you do not want to know what the neighbor is doing, eventually this disease will come to your farm and eat up even your crop. In the end, all of you will not have a good harvest. So what am I saying? I'm saying that the measurement of success is determined by how many people you assist to reach the finish line. That is my point. Don't think that you can be successful alone 
Don't think that when you are building a mansion, you can build a big house within your villagers, and those other villagers are not uplifted economically. They are going to rob you. They are going to steal from you. If you are doing poultry farming, they are going to hold ransom all your chicken. Once you release them out for, for feeding, they'll take them. If you are doing large-scale dairy farming, you know that the disease which will attack your neighbor's cows might eventually come and destroy your dairy cow. I want you to look at this, this point. If you are listening keenly, if you have been seeing what is happening, these developed countries, majority of them, they make groups. Those who are dairy farmers, this group. Those who are doing the uh, corn plantation, this group. Those who are doing vegetables and fruits, this group. And then they are being given assistance so that if we are 10 of us doing this particular business, we can work together and come up with a good product. And that is what I'm talking about. Success is not an individual attempt. When we are two or three or five people holding hands together, we are likely to achieve what we desire most. Thank you so much for watching this particular video up to this moment. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you are, if you are a new subscriber up to this moment, please, I request that you subscribe to this channel. Remember, I'm here for you only. I'm here to give you what you desire most to achieve more in life. If you have already subscribed to this particular channel, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being part and parcel of Public Desire Family. And for those who are yet to become public desire family members please take this opportunity to subscribe to this channel remember it is only through hard work it is only through determination that you can achieve what you want to achieve thank you so much let us meet in the next video today it was just story time thank you for listening bye bye let's meet the next video bye